In many cases, people's parenting time plans come into conflict at some point or another in the future after they do that parenting plan. For example, right now I have a case where the parties are arguing over Easter because according to the parenting plan, each party gets the child on his or her birthday, yet also according to the parenting plan, mother gets the Easter holiday this year, which happens to fall on father's birthday. So in this video, I have a tool that is gonna help get you started in the right direction with trying to communicate about this other, this conflict with the other parents well before the conflict arises, so stay tuned. My name is Wendy Hernandez and I'm a Phoenix family law attorney and I'm also the creator of Command the Courtroom. If you haven't already checked out all the other videos on the Command the Courtroom channel, you gotta do that now because I promise if you're going through a child custody case, there's something there to help you. Also, if you haven't already looked at commandthecourtroom.com, check that out because there's courses that are available to you that you can take online anytime, day or night, that are gonna help you if you're getting ready for a hearing, if you wanna understand what to present to the court during your hearing. You want to understand the more, most important aspects of a child custody case. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've ever liked any videos on the Command the Courtroom channel that you've watched in the past, please go back and give them a thumbs up if you haven't already. Also, please subscribe if you want to keep the videos coming, if you want to get notified each time a new video drops. Getting those likes and subscribes helps keep me motivated to producing the information that will help you the most. So today we have the fourth and final interview of the four-part series with Dr. Sammy of Our Day's Calendar. And finally, we're gonna get to the gold that resulted from his hard-fought custody and divorce in the courtroom where he had to go through two jury trials. So Dr. Sammy is gonna to talk to you about the tool that he developed that helps people look far into the future, see what their parenting times are gonna look like and how those parenting plans are gonna unfold. So if you see conflicts in your future parenting plan, or you want to make switches to your schedule, this tool is going to help. Super cool. Let's get into the interview with Dr. Sammy of Our Day's Calendar. This is Wendy Hernandez with Command the Courtroom. Welcome back to the fourth part of my four-part interview with Sammy of Our Day's Calendar. And in the previous three episodes, Sammy shared his journey through the family court courtroom, a contested custody battle and divorce battle. He had two jury trials, lots of upheaval, upheaval, lots of up and downs, but he's a, arrived at a great place today. He, in our last episode, we talked about his relationship with his son today and his relationship with his ex, which is a really good relationship. They can co-parent together. But all of this led to Sammy to an unbelievable place, in my opinion. And now he's helping people all over the world, probably. I don't think it's just the United States with a tool that he developed called Our Day's Calendar. And Sammy's going to share more about Our Day's Calendar today. Welcome back, Sammy. Thank you for being here and talk to me a little bit about how our day's calendar came to be. Yeah, well, first of all, thank you very much, Wendy, to uh, this call and invite me to, to share some of my experiences and, and here today's focus on our day's calendar. And indeed, uh, yeah, the journey had much of ups and downs in beginning, a lot of downs. Uh, I'm sure a lot of your, your audience have experienced or know somebody who experienced this. And indeed, uh, I think I'm uh, benefiting of being in a very good place now with uh, peace in, in my mind and uh, the relationship with a little one, uh, our child, and also uh, my ex-wife. So I'm really happy to be here and looking forward for this session. Thanks, Sammy, I appreciate that. So tell me what our day's calendar is, first of all, and how did it come to be? Yeah, in a nutshell, and we're gonna go more into the details in a moment here, in a nutshell, the our day's calendar is essentially a, a calendar to make it very easy for co-parents with a quick uh, setup, uh, looking at who's going to have the upcoming visitation with, with their child or children. And how it came to be, of course, from my own experience. So during uh, our uh, divorce period and also the divorce, uh, then the visitation schedule uh, for those who live in, in Texas knows that it's very complex, very complicated. Uh, we're talking about first, third, fifth weekend of the month. If the school day is, is on uh, between a Thursday and Friday that is off. There is lots of rules that plays a role there. 
And initially, I started to just draft a, a Google Sheet and then create my if functions and making it a very simple calculation. So uh, when am I going to see my child next time and who is going to have the child this spring break, etc. And, and uh, during this period, as I was connecting also with other divorced parents, it was very clear that this was something that they would also uh, want to get their hands on. Uh, in opposed to, you know, you have to call a lawyer, you have to speak with a lawyer, get the clarification. And not only that it costs uh, a lot of money, but as well as sometimes the lawyers are busy and cannot respond to you right now. And you want to know who's going to pick up the child tomorrow. You cannot wait a week before a lawyer can respond to you. So it, it, it was very clear that something like this was needed. And I looked on the public domain, I looked in the Apple Store, Google Play, and there was really nothing that could simplify it. A uh, lot of tools out there claim to have the co-parenting calendar but reality was they were no different to an outlook calendar or google calendar mm -hmm. where you had manually to put in your your uh, visitation schedule which begs the question why uh, why would i not just continue with my current existing calendar that i have so that prompted me what can i do to make this very easy uh, i hired in the app developers and went with the very basics uh, no buzz and uh, lots of uh, buzz and whistles around it it's just simple calendar for co-parents and make it that simple and easy for use. I love that. You know, and I just want to, but uh, we're going to have you share your screen and kind of give us a tour and show us how it works. Um, but one thing I will say as an attorney over the years, there have been several times where we come up with a parenting plan and it says that, for example, you know, during even years, dad gets the child's birthday and during odd years, mom gets the child's birthday. But, um, you know, if there's no school, then so-and-so gets the child's birthday. And there have been times Times when these things come into conflict and there's questions or there's times when I want to know three years from now who's going to have Christmas for whatever reason right and uh, that makes my head hurt trying to figure that stuff out I will tell you so yeah, indeed indeed Wendy and, and I said that in our previous uh, sessions as well you know uh, the, the co-parenting calendar is no uh, is nothing specific to co-parents of uh, divorced uh, parents it's, it's also in a, in a regular parents who live together there is a calendar you know someone has to go business travel mm -hmm. uh, you get visit visits from your your relatives and there are, are school trips there is so many things that we need a calendar for even in a non-divorced environment but for divorced environment there is multiple things that makes it actually more difficult for us without such a solution as uh, our days calendar and one of them being uh, for example the communication you know uh, especially in beginning of the divorce periods many uh, parents will agree that there is still tensions there and uh, i don't want to call my ex-wife and saying hey i'm not sure am i going to pick up the child tomorrow or are you going to have the child this weekend i had the child last weekend you know what's the what's the schedule look like because now spring break coming up or school holidays as you say and having an app that simplifies that where it's very clear to both parents to see who's going to have this schedule and the communication is kept to on point you know there is no major discussions there is on point hey this is a day i'm going to have the child can we swap and indeed you're you're very right we we started with the idea for texas because we knew the complexity of this but as we opened this up to other forums and other parents outside of the texas it was very clear that this was not the texas issue we we do have a complex rules in Texas. However, even with those simple uh, rules, where week on, week off, every two two days, child goes to the other parents. Exactly like you say, the child birthday is coming up. Who had the child last year? Mm -hmm. I mean, who keeps the track of that, right? right. And majority of the time, we don't. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what happened last week, when yet alone a year ago, uh, yes. who had child on this date on that day. So I think that will this app, as as we will demonstrate here, is definitely targeting what is the pain points for co-parents and in scheduling. Okay, that's great. And I want you to mention it before we get into that, that there's a free 30-day trial on this app. Is that right, Sammy? That, that is correct. Right now we have a 30 days uh, free trial and even uh, even in background, we can share this with your, your uh, audience firsthand, that we are actually working also with an in-ad version, a lighter version, where if, if the user decides that, yes, I like it, but uh, I don't want to pay for it. Now we have a two dollar per month subscription so 
it's compared to uh, the others that is out there and we've we seen there is more coming up that is giving uh, apps for co-parents that you can communicate there track the uh, finance there uh, uh, child support etc we are not doing any of that and they're charging an average anywhere between the six seven dollars to fifteen dollars a month for the app usage and we are we are keeping it to the minimal so just short of two dollar a month and in fact uh, if users decide that no they, they don't want to even pay that uh, monthly fee after the trial period then we hoping that by mid this year we're releasing a version of the app that is free at any time it will be a lighter version but then we will have an uh, ad uh, banner ad or uh, you know in-app ad uh, version as well that uh, you decide you want a free version that's what you come with it if you decide just ad free, then you will have to go through the subscription. Okay, excellent. That's great, Sammy. Well, thank you for that. So let's like show me, show me what it can do. Show all of us what it can do. And I think that I've shared screens and you can take control. Yes, thank you. Let's go, let's go and do that. I'm gonna do a share screen here. So the app is uh, available on Apple Store and Google Play, and then we have a uh, web-based version of it. So essentially, if you if you decide to uh, to go ahead and use Use the app on your cell phone, a Google phone, Android phone, or uh, or Apple device. You can do that, or tablet, or as we are doing here on a computer, we can do that. So the name of the app is Our Days Calendar. So the Our Days Calendar all in one word. Go into the website here. As I mentioned as well, you can you can download the app. So you have a very quick version of it on on your cell phone, and you can do that on the Apple Store or Google Play. Or like we are doing right now, just log in through the, your, your computer. Everything is synchronized, so you don't need to worry doing it in a two different places. Let me actually sign out and, and do this with from start. So you can sign in with multiple options. So you have you can go and you can with your email. You can go in with your Apple ID, your Facebook, or with your Google uh, credentials. I just go with my Google credentials. And of course, as you can see, my even my access is about to expire in a few oh. days. <laughs> so I have to make a decision. Uh, I go with a light version, or I'll go and, and, and purchase the product uh, let's keep it for now and i'll go back to that all right so this is a test calendar but we're gonna we're gonna go and create a calendar from from scratch so when users go into the app for very first time it's very blank here and then we're gonna create a calendar i uh, uh, ask you to just pay attention how easy and simple it is so say that you just want to start the calendar you call it uh, whatever name you want any information you put is your information you you put it as you want it we're gonna call this sammy's Sammy's calendar next all right and of course here is the important part that is coming to those points you mentioned you know if the child's birthday is coming up or uh, visitation needs to affect then we have a child here i'm gonna call the child for mikey and the child was born 2021 in oh, you put may i'm just making up here now you can uh, add as many kids that uh, you we want here children and what, here's a notification i put if the children are of different schedules and of course it's may, maybe very straightforward you need to obviously create a different calendar so this calendar is uh, relating to the schedule for mikey or and all the other kids that follow in the same schedule because some parents have sometimes uh, different schedules depending on their setups they do yes okay and then it comes to the visitation and we made it super easy the, the over 80 90 percent of the available uh, schedules out there the defaults are already here so you can pick up your your typical schedule is it a 223 225 or alternate week alternate weekends or like myself here in texas i have a texas spo or espo or you can go and simply customize calendar in exact your way so these are the typical court awarded schedules and then you can have your very specific here as well i'm going to just pick here uh, 225 five, and i'll say it's going to start pretty much from uh, today yeah i'm parent one and uh, go next so you get the summary here and a disclaimer that yeah we are we are not a substitute of the advice of an attorney there is a terms of condition the uh, the regular that you see on most type of apps that uh, 
as it's saying essentially please make sure you are the owner of your own information and inputs mm -hmm. click on create calendar so this is just with few clicks here your calendar has now been created and there you go you have the calendar starting from today holidays are marked you mm -hmm. can go to next page you see very clear Mm -hmm. who is going to have the kids and we said that i'm a parent one now well, let's put a name on me sammy and the parent two let's call it maria so then you can see that here is going to change and everywhere in the app as well all right it takes a few seconds there for it to update so you can you can see exactly same thing on your cell phone and you can see here so all the i don't know what you call this green color greenish and pink yeah. is you can see that sammy is the green and then maria is uh, uh, the, 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 all the pink color and then something that we, we see a lot of uh, parents uh, are interested to know is hey i want to know during 2024 or 2023 who who had the child most and you can easily put put the dates a period oh, so say nice. from 19th of january to yeah let's say to end of march and you can immediately see almost an equal right yeah. uh, sammy got uh, a day more during that three months period two and a half months period you can easily see and why is this important in many cases when the parents want to know well if i'm having the primary of the child why is it that i'm seeing the child least amount of time or uh, i'm supposed to see the child at least 50 60 percent of the time but you can with a couple of clicks you can see that right yes and you that's you know and i will just add like you know from my perspective that's an important thing too because there are cases where maybe people are awarded nearly equal time with one another but that's not actually happening and so then down the road somebody's taken somebody else to, to court to modify child support right and you know i don't you know you can use this application to show hey judge we're awarded equal time but actually my ex is only getting 20 percent of the time indeed indeed that's that's very good point and, and in fact a lot of time comes to court says one thing and then between the parents they agree or disagree or who's going to pick up the child this week or next week uh, and you know these colors change right uh, and you, you without before you know it after two three months you're noticing exactly like you say one of the parents has 20 percent of the time and the other parents has 80 percent of the time yeah. and this is makes that very visible any given time and all of the functionality that you see here as well they are seamless so you can see that on your app as well so there is nothing mismatch between the functionalities that you have here versus that so sammy can i ask you a question i'm looking at the symbols and i love the color coding base uh, that you do i do that on my work calendar like i have color coding so my eyes tend to go to for example, green is I'm meeting with a potential client, uh, you know, a um, red is a deadline. And so like when I go to my calendar and I see these colors, I know kind of what my day looks like. So this color coding is really good. I'm curious about the icons in the upper right hand corner. I see a share button and, and you're probably going to get to that. But there's a share, yeah. there's a calendar, there's something with an arrow. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And uh, I think you, you touched one that is, uh, well, a couple of the points that is we get an often feedback about in fact the color coding is one of the simplicity of it has been number one uh, feedback from the users we love the simplicity it's right on what what it can do and we have got on that note we also got comment as well hey i don't want to be pink so can i change the color and we we, we, we took a note of that and i think within the coming four or five months we're going to release a new version that uh, we allowing users to go there and change the colors to their their, their liking so okay that's kind of a fun comment but on a share share point that that's a uh, that's one number one point that a lot of parents has come and told us that that sharing they love it so much for multiple reasons for one uh, if you have a uh, access whether it's a free access or uh, the, the subscription of the two dollar per month or whatever product you decide to go with the, the other parent whoever you share it with won't have to have a subscription so as long as oh. your subscription is valid you can share it with whoever you want. Oh. And when I'm saying whoever, I, that literally whoever, you can share it with the other parent, immediate thoughts. Even, you know, when the kids grow a little bit older, my child is uh, actually that age that they may need to have a cell phone or access himself. So I can share it with him as well. 
and he can have a good access and he can put in his information there as well. Or, and many cases, uh, we got the user feedback who came and said, hey, we love it so much. We, we share it with our lawyer as well, so they can see it as well. So they share with lawyer, with, with relatives, mm -hmm. you know, grandparents yes. who, you know, uh, it, it took me actually two years to realize uh, that, hey, I have this tool, I have this functionality, and I'm getting slightly tired of my mom or dad or my brothers every time I speak into them. Like, are you going to have your child this weekend? Oh, yeah, I find it nice that they ask. But, you know, when you hear the same question three, four times the same weekend, I'm like, you know what, I'll just simply share this calendar with them and they can they can see that. I was going to say it could be really valuable, you know, if people have um, like babysitters or, you know, nannies, you know, and maybe it's the same nanny, regardless of which parent has the children and the nanny's like, well, where, where am I picking up the kids from this week? Or where am I taking them to, you know? So. That's right. That's right. There is so many benefits and we yeah. can talk to lengths about this one. So in, in, an, uh, in a very, you know, the, the whole basic of this uh, tool has been simplicity and user friendliness. And that's what we're priding ourselves is you click on the share, simple, it comes mm -hmm. the email, you put the email of uh, the other person. I'm going to just make up here info at... Um, ourdayscalendar.com and click on share and n note that we put here a prompt there as well it said view access will be granted and i'm going to i'm going to uh, mention why uh, in a second here as well because we get in occasionally users who are commenting on why is it only one parent who can go and edit so access has been allowed what happened to that uh, person that we shared uh, you see here it says now it's shared with that person i can add additional persons as well uh, in here i can share it with the admin of our days calendar calendar dot com so with, with the, that those persons they're gonna get an email prompt and they can check in their uh, spam box or or even if they want uh, the the person can tell them that hey i shared this calendar with you they need to go and log into the our days calendar the tool like we did beginning of this uh, presentation they go there and they're gonna see that there is calendars that has been in this shared section they're gonna see that there there are there is calendar that has been shared with them mm -hmm. and simply like my examples here there is there is calendar shared with with some person now if i am a person that the calendar has been shared with so let's assume that when they share this calendar with me and this is what we're seeing on the display here i will not be able to make any modifications to the calendar and we, we, we the reason behind that is this is actually no different to when you have your regular manual calendar in hand when you have a calendar and visitation schedule each parent has to ask the other parent to make a, cha a change mm -hmm. and that uh, in order for us to avoid that two parents goes equal time and go and mix and match their their, their, uh, their schedules without verification of the other parents we had to allow the originator to be the person who implement the changes while the other parent is a viewer it mm -hmm. never holds us to communicate and asking whether we can swap any dates or so on. That makes sense. It, that makes sense. And at the same time, we do have uh, an idea, a, a solution to even target that as well in the next release. Again, hoping uh, by mid this year or later this year, we release in the next version where both parents at least can go in and request a change. Got it. So even if the uh, calendar has been shared with you, you may want to click on a date here and, and send in a prompt to other parents. Very simple, a prompt. Uh, can we swap this date or this period of time? And it will be a yes, no, or I will con I will consider and get back to you. I love and the it. Functionality. I love it. If so, it re yeah, reduces the potential for conflict and drama. <laughs> absolutely. Around swapping days. <laughs> Indeed, 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 and that's 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 what I was our thought as well. That hey, let's not fully restrict the the parent that this has been shared with. Let's uh, let's allow them at least a mild version that we still restrict that both go and there will be a new conflict. Who changed it? I didn't approve it. Who uh, that kind of conversation to a kind of a in uh, something between where 
both parents can request a change or swap date. So, so that with, with regard to sharing, and then of course, um, this doesn't mean this is a cast in stone. Uh, you know, we have this calendar and now, like you said, uh, maybe maybe there needs to be some changes uh, as we go forward, or there is there is a trip coming, upcoming trip coming, and I'm supposed to have the child uh, here in February, but I have to attend the work business trip. So then I'm, uh, I want to request, or actually I, I want to go and change these three dates. Uh, and I've asked my uh, ex-wife if she's okay, we have an agreement, then I can simply click on that day. I can change that particular day and assign it to Maria instead. Mm -hmm. Or, and I can, I, I want a period, uh, mm -hmm. instead of doing this for every day, I'll just ah. expand that. Yes. To 22nd, I put assign to Maria. And of course, and here we're going to explain this as well. So by default, the tool is going to show the sleepovers, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that, that's the most important. Where is the child going to sleep over? That's a default. I'm going to put the information there. Uh, agreed to swap. And this is this is at the free text and uh, I'll be on conference on, on business trip business. I confirm. There you go. Bang. I love it. The, the, the app is telling you, the calendar is telling you those days has been modified and you have a specific message there that says, yeah, we agree to swap so that you already agreed and I'll be on business trip to Louisiana. So, so and I shifted that to the other parents. Now, if I decide that, well, you know, as we go forward, uh, that business trip is canceled, I'm not going to go. And I agreed with my ex-wife that, hey, let's not swap those dates. Uh, I'm, I, I want to take those back. I go back, pick up my those particular dates, and reset. Ah, cool. And I'll reset. No business trip. There you go. Confirm. And there you go. Cool. You have the additional information, and then uh, you you swap in that, uh, or sorry, resetting that to what it used to be or what it, what it was. Cool. Then, yeah, and now we are looking at the February. You see, it is, this is where we are, the selected dates, and, and you know the, we can see how it looks further down in March and other months. And well, I don't want to uh, keep clicking on arrows to take me to right and left to different months. I want to just go back to where we are today. And here is that button. To, one single button takes you back to this month and today uh, is marked there. So you can very simple navigate in the tool. Now, if you decide that a, down the line, after a year, after two years, whatever period of time that you have had this visitation schedule, you guys come into a different agreement and you're saying that uh, you, you want to change your visitation schedule, you can, let me, let me do this again. You go in on the uh, info button for this particular calendar and you see I got multiple calendar here. Well, uh, this particular calendar, I go info button. It tells you a little bit information, the basics there, the calendar ID or uh, information when it was created, Mikey's birthday. And I, I can change that if, uh, if I put a wrong date, so I don't need to go through creating a calendar again. Or now I decided that, you know what? We're gonna decide to change this calendar to a week on week off. And that will not start until 11th of February. So till 11th of February, we agreed we're gonna keep this the current schedule. And from, from that date, we're gonna just change that. And we'll say that Maria is gonna be the person that's starting that calendar first. And you click on save. Let's see, yeah, we're having the same calendar as we had before. And then now, as of 11th of February, that schedule is shifting. Yep, I love it. I love it. Very simple. So simple and intuitive. Yeah, and then that, that's that's a kind of a main big big deals that we we really pride ourselves in the simplicity. As I said, the fact that you can share the calendar with other parents or other other people that uh, you think is uh, relevant to knowing how the schedules look like. And then of course the counting, the sleepovers, and of course what, what I mentioned as well, the, the affordability of it. You know, the user friendliness, one side, we have in the trial period as well, another thing, but even if you decide that, hey, all the functionalities is super good, I like it, I wanna maintain this calendar as it is, then you can go ahead and, and subscribe. And, and the subscriptions, as it is right now, we we allowing user to just decide to go for 24 months or 12 months or six months, so they don't need to worry about hey if my 12 months finished and that's all i needed the calendar for i don't want to keep paying for this uh, behind the scenes you won't because unless you pick 
a ruling subscription which we don't have actually implemented yet. It will come later this year. Unless you have a rolling subscription, it's only for that period of time that you select it for. So you don't need to worry about that. There is a, uh, your credit card has been uh, charged every month without you even knowing. Yes. That's, that's, that's great. It's a, uh, this is uh, I love this tool, Sammy. I mean, cause it really does, you know, it boils it down to, you know, the only issue that some people have, which is where's the child going to be when and how often, what are the percentages? And and I know, you know, I can tell you're trying to make it better. You're listening to your users, you know, you're you're giving thought to their feedback. And and I know it's going to be a work on pro in progress. It's probably ever always going to be evolving. Yeah, in indeed. There is m uh, several features that we add in, as I mentioned, changing the colors, allowing an uh, in in app ads version as well. So users just can continue with that as well as a little bit more flexibility for sharing calendar and, and asking for swap dates. That's yeah. that's also coming in. Uh, more more also to come as well is uh, is around the period of time that you want to specifically put a, a specific schedule for a certain period of time and then uh, your regular schedule rest of the time. There is, we, we're trying to cover every possibility that is out there. Yeah. So right now we think that we are close to 99% of any possible uh, schedules that is out there. And that I mentioned that you can go and find your particular customized schedule and decide that every Monday, mm -hmm. child is with Sammy, mm -hmm. every Tuesday, child is with Sammy, and mm -hmm. every Wednesday is with Maria. And then the weekends, maybe every Friday, it's every two weeks mm -hmm. and so on. Oh. And, and every Sunday is every three weeks. So we are, we are giving flexibility to, to users to do, to do what and when should it start uh, yes. that kind of schedule. Yes. And I, you know what, I think what I just heard you said, because I have some cases here in Arizona where, for example, during the school year, the schedule is every, you know, 5225. I think you have it listed as 225. We call it 5225. But then during the summer, it's like one parent gets the whole month of June and the other parent gets the whole month of July. You are thinking... Almost a little bit similarity with Texas standard position. Yes. So you are, I, you know, I can tell you, I mean, you have a very logical mind and you're thinking this through and I you know I recently had a case with an engineer where you know one of the big issues was this parenting time schedule and it just really like I said it makes my brain hurt thinking about stuff and and he was sitting there thinking okay so if I agree that for example we alternate the child's birthday but I have you know we have a 5225 then during what years am I going to have the birthday and I'm like I have no idea <laughs> you know? that's right and, and who, you know it's just so funny and who would right and uh, you know on the google calendar or outlook and those you have to keep clicking yourself to that or or typing in and looking searching for that date to to get that uh, but here you can you can simply just uh, navigate to that particular date and, and seeing who's going to have the child at that particular and in fact that, that's something we didn't mention so instead of clicking the buttons that's one option you can navigate yourself to each month by by arrows coming back to today with that particular button and exactly on that point you say hey what, what's happening in uh, later later this year i want to go to uh, September months and seeing who, who's going to have the child, right? And you can just click on it and, uh, or here I clicked on May, I said September, click on May and you can see, right, it's, a, it's Mikey's birthday that day and that's on a Friday, Friday that he is with Maria, right? Yeah. Now, some schedules also says, like it takes a standard position order that here you can have a visitation with child, even if it's not your day for two hours mm -hmm. right, from 6 to 8 p.m. And those are the information that you can go on and put in. And that's what I meant that uh, if you click and you want to modify a spe specific day and by default, the sleepover is marked. But as I mentioned, sometimes you just want to see the child for a few hours, right? You want to take him to a birthday party or uh a relative g gathering and grandparents and, and meal or whatever and you can just put that as well that hey this particular time between 12 and 6 p.m or whatever time you decide to 4 p.m or 5 p.m you can you can decide that i'm gonna see the child child's gonna be with me it was by default with maria it's a birthday party 
confirm. There you see, you see all of that information is there in very simplified colors there. So you see by default, Charles gonna sleep over at Maria's place. And then you say modified uh, and it's gonna be with green between uh, noon and I put a military uh, format of uh, hours here. So there is no confusion till uh, 16 hours. Uh, that means 4 p.m. Charles is going to be with, uh, with me during that period of time. And it's a birthday party. So all of that can happen as well, allowing the users to modify a day without changing the entire sleepover. I love this tool, Sammy. I love where it is. I love what you've created. I love where it came from, like how you brought it into this world. And I also love the ideas that you have to take it to the next level. So thank you. Thank you so much. And, and again, I just wanted to uh, share with people, they can find it in the App Store and in, in the Play Store and at ourdayscalendar.com, right? That's right. And yeah. at the time of recording this, um, people can get it for 30 days, no risk, free trial. And it's only at this point, two bucks a month, which is amazing. I mean, you can get a whole year for less than two cups of coffee at Starbucks. It's a pretty straightforward. And, uh, you know, my, my mission here has been, as I've mentioned in previous calls as well, is that to, uh, to not letting a child being the last person to be picked up or even not picked up at mm. school and teachers has to call up because of the parents not, not knowing who's going to pick up the child, right? Uh, if you're on that point. And it's very easy now, transparent to see. One thing we didn't show on, on screen sharing here, if you really insisting on a paper format or having a, having a printed out version, and we have had users actually coming back with that as well. It was so easy to download the calendar. Yes. The way we had and yes. print it and bring it as a court uh, evidences and saying, look, here is what it is. And then we, we had a case that the uh, actual user called us on our, on our support line and said, we want to talk with a person who developed this. I spoke with him. We actually asked him to put that review on the website too. Uh, told us that we went to court and the court was actually asking us, well, what is it? What is the basis for this calculation? Where is it? And we said, let's do a calculation and see how good it is. And it was perfect match between a manual calculation of the days, which days, and the tool could easily demonstrate that in a matter of minutes. So, so the both parents were asked to go and use this tool. So. Oh my gosh, that's great. I mean, such a headache saver and a time saver and just simplifies everything for people going through this, through the for the courts and for people like me who don't like to think too hard about math problems. <laughs> yeah. <We don't>, yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know, I for you watching this out there, wherever you are, you have to check out Our Days Calendar and Sammy and keep your eye on Our Days Calendar to see what is to come. Um, there's cool new things. And is there anything else that you want to share with the viewers, Sammy? Yes. And, um, you know, we're reaching out to so huge group and we, we right now we're open in US and we are intending to open up for the rest of the globe as well, because we, we know that this kind of issues is not uh, a US issue. right? And we know uh, there are also people who, who are uh, looking for an app like this, but uh, they don't want to uh, necessarily pay for it either. And we are happy with, uh, that we're looking into solutions there. So if there is any of the users uh, from this audience that thinking that there is uh, a need for them to use this and uh, they at this point, they're, they're not interested in the payment for it, with all means, send me a uh, note on support at, at ourdayscalendar.com. You see that in the app as well. The information is there in the app. Send me a note and we'll make sure to follow up with you and making it open for individuals that need the app, but at the moment not interested in, in, in any subscription or any uh, in-ad version. We'll make that happening. My agenda, and I'm standing by it, is to help in the parents, to help the child and their situation with a simple tool as that. That is my goal and I'm standing by it. And I will demonstrate that with any user who decide to go that route. Please feel free to contact me. I know that's true. And I know you're a man of your word, Sammy. And thank you. I honor you and all the work that you're doing to help people out there who need help and to share your experience with them. And everybody, Sammy is going to be back. Like we were talking off screen before this episode, we have some ideas for future episodes. 
He has some real life experience that, although I'm the attorney, never been in the witness stand and he has. And so he's going to share some more. If you like this episode, be sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to Command the Courtroom, be sure and hit that notification bell to make sure you get notified of future episodes. But until next time, remember to keep your head up, keep on trucking and get out there and command the courtroom.